Okay, back to the video series. Look at this rock formation right here. Super, super Game of Thrones kind of a look. Look at these layers of rock. I'm pretty sure these are lava. Uh, at some point. So, you have to be like super careful. Watch for uh, flat surfaces. Put your feet on them. Make sure you're not, but the thing is, these lava rocks has good grip. So when you walk down, just put your foot on, on, on these um, layers that shown in this video. They almost look like snow, but they're not. Um, and then I can see some sulfur rocks too. So, okay guys, so we are, uh, I just want to make sure, uh, we are on the path to uh, how come I forgot the name? <laughs> Barafu, camp. Barafu Camp from Karanga Camp. Uh, the trail is super steep in the beginning. And now look at here. Walk in the park, walk in the park. <laughs> Manjaro, Matata. No problem. So this is a flat land right here. Your knees will say thank you for sure for a certain point. So at this point I will, will like to let you know that we are still waiting for our Potter brothers to bring um, tents and everything. But we are in no rush. I'm not complaining at all because I know how hard it is to haul things all the way up, up here. So I'm, I'm, even if they're like super late, I totally understand. Um, and especially when you're hiking and you're a hiker, uh, you, you will understand the, the ups and downs of the weather, the people, the arrangements, all that you you learn to um, compromise a little bit for sure and if you cannot then uh, you will be a crybaby and you'll never enjoy the the beauty and the scenic of 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 this beautiful mountain and now i'm feeling the heat from behind which tells me the sun finally decided to crop up from behind right there somewhere and uh, you all need to know we are closing in to the higher elevation which means we are closing in close to the sun and Africa is pretty close to the equator so you can see it's gonna be a blast of sunlight everywhere in your body i i personally feel right at this moment you can literally hike with your long underwear on nothing else because it's that warm okay i'm still having my raincoat on a uh, rain kind of this thing flimsy one just in case if the rain decide to start again uh, the weather is like unpredictable okay there is some big mountain right next to me that's not Kilimanjaro by no means Kilimanjaro is the actual massive peak and right now it's flat land guys uh, take a breather enjoy the nice stroll I must say we are heading towards 4,700 meters 
100 meters above the lava tower. So the body is already acclimatized. And Kaka here told me something interesting. Uh, sometimes your body gets into a shock when you move from different elevation points. So it's you might feel like headache and sickness, whatever, but it's about how your body reacting to different elevations, okay? And getting a headache is part of it and it's completely normal. <sighs> but headache, forget, headache from lack of sleep, lack of food, lack of drinking water is different from headache from a simple change in elevations. So those are two different things, okay? But your body reacts differently. Okay, right here, you're a long way, long way from Karanga camp now. Point of no return. Yeah, the way is path forward. And this is like a relaxed walk, I must say. Ah, nice. Ah, there's no like 45 degree steep angle hike or anything, you just stroll, stroll, stroll happily. There's no greenery around here because it's all volcano mountain. So it's all kind of a volcanic rocks all over this place right here. You can see it's all crazy. So. But uh, I'm really pursuing my dream of hiking one of the major peaks. And uh, um, the Taurus Mountain in Africa. And there are a lot of people who contributed towards what I'm doing. Are definitely Massive weight loss did help um, uh, with if I'm heavy like I used to uh, I can never do this uh, if I'm out of breath in this video probably I'll die if I'm overweight again that's just me that's my body and you can be like super heavy duty and you can be like someone who is like uh, expensable and do this like a piece of cake. So uh, I'm not complaining about one way or other. What I'm saying is about me and my experience. So for this, what I'm hiking is what I'm wearing is um, a full hand shirt, t-shirt, and there is a half hand shirt, t-shirt below it, and then shorts, and then a rain pant, um, and then something to cover my backpack, protect from rain. Guys, I'll tell you this, Right now, the sun is beating my neck. Seriously, I'm so warm and crazy right now. Okay, I'll sign off here. I'll catch you with another video. Take care. And please do subscribe and please do watch the playlist, the entire playlist makes sense if you watch in the middle from the middle it doesn't make up a, a movie story at all and you will not learn anything from just watching 
uh, just a small clip uh, and the terrain you will not learn and uh, Kaka here explained about some plants uh, about the terrain and how we cross from rainforest to the moonlands and to the alpine desert he explained in detail so please do watch and make yourself educated before picking the path of your choice okay look at here the sun is freaking beating down from behind guys ah uh, i can feel it i can feel it on my neck it's okay as long as it's not beating my face right now i'm okay uh, so one step at a time kaka is there guiding me from the front i'm just following the path here without him i'll be probably lost but this is a good experience um, Oh wow, bro! What is that peak? It's not a peak. It's just uh, when the eruption comes, it's erupt in different. Ah, uh, so when the eruption happens, it seems it it erupts from different places, and this is one of the eruption point, guys. So when you hike up, if you hike up, you will probably see like a hole where the volcano lava pumped out yes. at some point. When is the last time they do a? Did this happen? It's many years ago. Oh. They say it's more than 300 oh. years ago. Okay, guys, so probably you and me are not born by that time, so. Me and you, is it? Uh, me and you, and not anybody who's watching this video. Uh, so. Okay. I asked for sun many, 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 many hours back to God. And now he decided to say like, okay, I listen, here we go. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the phone in and I'm gonna put my GoPro on because I wanna use my GoPro for something. I brought my GoPro, but I'm using my phone for all my videos. So if Kaka allows me to quickly put my GoPro, I'll do that. Okay guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, by the way, I'm gonna leave uh, contact info of Kaka here, um, who is the guide who took me all the way from the airport until the day four right now. But <laughs> he's gonna take me all the way to the bottom of the hill too until my hotel. So. I'm just saying, I'm gonna leave his contact info on the video description. Um, guys, he prefers WhatsApp because, understand this, he's from Africa. There are some limitations on applications they might be able to use. So predominantly, they are, they use Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp Messenger. These are the heavy usage stuff. When they call you, don't take it as they're nosy or anything. They just want to respond to your query. They want to talk through things. And when the video call you, they just want to see, make sure you're a real person, not somebody who is wasting and playing games. So um, do not take it as uh, some kind of a hack or something they're pretty genuine when they do that so my brother here i'm gonna leave his whatsapp on the and his messenger as well and when you contact him make sure you tell him if you don't want him to call on the voice just tell him and you text 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 and then learn yourself right kaka yeah, i don't I see anybody by the way I want to check. yeah I, I just saw in the back, nobody, I see nobody. Maybe you want to call them or something?
Hey guys, you can see two people actually climbing in front of us. Uh, is it the German lady, brother? No, 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 right? I don't think so, right? Oh yeah, she has a different. Uh, oh, he, that's the guy who is carrying the uh, some kind of yeah. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I know many, many, many people actually complain about oh my gosh, it's so strenuous. It's harder than I thought. Um, actually, with the right guide, with the right amount of care they provide, with the right amount of food. I'm telling you, it's not hard. It's never hard for me. So, it's for you to decide. And look at here, we are waiting here for our Porter brothers to, to join us because we don't want to be too fast. Plus, we want to make sure that they're okay as well. That's the main thing. So, um, I don't know them in, in person until this hike. And now, if you if you see this video I'm genuinely concerned um, I do care so it's all cool man uh, I'll keep you guys posted more if my kaka allows I'm gonna take the rain jacket off and then uh, get myself a little comfortable because the sun is freaking beating down I don't know maybe I'll keep it because the clouds did you see the clouds so anytime it might happen so so, we'll see.